what's up y'all it's your girl queen p and i am back with another video now this video is going to be a little different from my other tricking videos because i am in shock but i am like literally finding this out in such a short amount of time that the houston ports are about to go on strike so the longshoremen's that work at the ports are getting ready to strike um their contract is up september 30th 2024 so that is monday um so we were told to get all of our containers out of the ports as much as uh we could get out because by monday at 7 p.m that'll be it it'll be cut off and we won't be able to get any more containers until they come back from strike now the longshoremen's i don't know their full contract but i do know that they are striking um because they do want a ten dollar increase in pay uh, ten dollar increase in pay so um if they don't receive this by the like i said their contract ends on monday today is friday you guys i'm filming this on friday uh september 27th and like i said it ends on monday and if they do not get what they are asking for they are definitely going to be striking as of right now guys the board has not even reviewed they have not even started negotiating and the ports have been so freaking slow like i mean literally slow um so i can tell that something big is about to happen um we have been pretty consistent i mean we we've made a lot of money so we haven't slowed down, but it's the fact that we're literally about to get cut off. <laughs> and um, like, this is, this is why I speak on financial literacy so much and like not just going to work and not saving some of your money because you never know things like this happen. Like I, I literally just found out about this and such a short amount of time. And this is why I always preach to you guys, like put some of your money up, at least 30% of your money should be put up or, you know, invested or something. I mean, I, I am prepared, but I'm also, when I first found out, I was like really angry about it because it was like such a short notice. And I'm like, what? Why didn't I know about this? But I mean, they weren't talking about it in the news or anything. Like it just literally just came upon me and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. Like I told you guys before, I've been through so much in Houston, uh, trying to find a good job. I finally got a good job. I'm very consistent. I've been stacking all of my money. Like I, like I said, since I've started, I have been stacking all of my money. I really haven't, you know, played as much as I should. I haven't, you know, enjoyed myself as much as I should because I've been, you know, working, working really hard and then trying to make sure that, you know, I put myself in position. That's, that's what I do. When I come from um, a downfall, I always go hard, super hard. And, um, you know, it's, it's that domino effect. You know how like everybody love a domino effect because when it when it's meant for good because all the bricks are being all the blocks are being knocked down so it's like you're you're um you know becoming super successful and you're knocking down all these goals and then it's like a re now this getting this news is like a reverse domino effect and it's like oh my god i don't want to tear down everything i built up even though i'm fully prepared um my bills will be paid and all that i'm fine but i don't want to go into my money to pay my bills what you know, it's just a thing like going to look at your account and seeing what you have worked hard for. And it's like, dang, I got to put this towards the bills. But knowing me, if, um, knowing me, I will definitely be doing side hustles. I get paid for my social media accounts. Um, I definitely will be doing those instead of going into my accounts. I'm just that kind of person. Um, I treat my savings account or, you know, money that I have, you know, around. I don't, I treat like I really don't have it. And that's how I succeed, you know. I always treat it like I don't have it so I can make more. So I'm never getting complacent, comfortable. I don't even I don't even thrive in comfortability, so I don't even try to be comfortable. So yeah, you guys, uh let me give you a little background also about this strike. So um the the Houston Ports last strike was in 1977 and it went on for 46 days. 46 days guys 46 days is a long time and i'm hoping and praying that the strike does not even go past the week because houston ports are one of the largest ports in in the united states so um they said if you know they went on strike for one day they can recover from that 
one or two days they can recover from that but it's gonna we're, we're gonna take a big hit even for one or two days but if it goes on for a week or even longer than that guys it's not gonna be a recession. It's going to turn into a depression. It's going to cause a depression. You guys know that recession and depression are two different things. So yeah, it's gonna cause a major depression. Um, this is a billion dollar business. It's gonna affect, it's not even just going to affect semi truck drivers. It's gonna affect everybody. A lot of people, Amazon, UPS. Like just think of how many people ship their things via ships in containers. This is major, guys. This is really major. I know I always try to make light of, you know, the situation, but this is real. This is going to be crazy. And the biggest thing about it to me is that um, it's just the amount the like I was, I really read into this and it's going to be super, super deep. Like it hasn't been a strike since 1977. Not that I want to start working and, you know, making good money. Now here we go. And we having a strike. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, so it's going to cause a... Uh, um, major damage major damage uh something that's going to be very very hard to recover from um so you know a lot of people were saying that they don't think that the longshoremen's you know deserve a ten dollar increase and all of that but they work really hard i'm not sure i don't i don't really have no i don't really know what fence to straddle on but i will say i have like being on the truck driver side and also coming from being a union worker i used to work in the union i used to be a union worker i used to work at a car plant one of the big threes at chrysler when i lived in detroit michigan and when we when they used to go on strike we still got paid you know i still got paid so i didn't know it didn't really affect me like that like, okay we ain't going to work okay cool but being on the other side y'all know y'all know the saying as a as a truck driver them wheels ain't turning you ain't earning so um this is major this is really major and you know i feel really really bad for people's families um truck drivers you know in themselves because we work so hard and we don't have as you know good of a benefit as everybody else you know they still get paid they don't go to work but you know luckily i do have a good company to where i i think they are trying to figure out a way how we're going to get paid or if we're going to get paid at all but a lot of truck drivers don't have that benefit and um it's going to affect people's families christmas you know holidays are coming up so um i just think it's crazy and you know it's like really nothing we could do about it sorry y'all it was time for me to get off i was ready to go home it's been a long week so um i just decided to finish the video at home so here we are it's going to be crazy um if this does not get resolved quickly because you know it's the, the holidays are really around the corner and y'all know how it go thanksgiving christmas so um, a lot of things are going to be put on hold a lot of things are going to be late or not delivered at all and um yeah so like i said i feel very bad for truck drivers and also you know businesses that are about to take a hit behind this now like i said i have been on both sides so being a union worker and still you know getting paid they you know are striking i never got affected by it when i was working at a automobile company so now that I'm a truck driver and this is my first time ever taking a hit like this, it, it kind of, you know, feels different. And um, like I said, my first emotions that I felt, I was very, very angry behind it because I'm like, damn, I, I'm just not finding out. And then next week, next week is Monday. I mean, next week is the 30th. So what? I'm praying and hoping that it does not turn into a depression. I'm praying and hoping that they come to an agreement. And then also, guys, they also try to get President Biden involved, you know, to put us uh, you know put a stop to the strike and you know he didn't want to get involved he's like no so basically it's a law called taft something uh i believe it's called taft i don't know the full name but i know it starts with taft it's supposed to interfere with the strike you know to put a stop to it but he didn't want to get involved and then even if he decided to at this point this late in the game it's already too late so um because you know they have to you know send it through and passing and all of that so a lot of people are very stressed out about this um but like i said i don't have time to stress i only have time to critical think and then apply my logic to my next move At this time in my life i just really um don't let things face me anymore and i really really love that it took a lot to get here i used to be a high head i used to just always be blowing up and you know taking everything full-fledged all of that was just so much it just was energy that didn't need to be used so in today's world in my world i like to use my brain to figure out what am i going to do to either fix it or what am i going to do to survive the place that i'm in whatever i have to do 
I just want to think about it and do. I don't want to think about it, crash out, um, go crazy, get angry, go through all those processes. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to change like your anger and, you know, breaking things and, you know, destroying things that you worked hard for just because you're, you hit a, a tough patch. It's not going to do anything. So keep everybody in your prayers, truck drivers. You guys are definitely in my prayers. And um, I hope you guys, you know, stack your money, you know, for times like this so you don't have to stress at all. Because I don't have I don't have to stress. I'm not going to stress because I, I did right by my money. But um some people didn't have no choice but to spend. Some people are living check to check. So it's you know, the kind of economy we're living in. So let's give grace to everybody. Because everybody is not in a in a position to save most of their money. Shout out to everybody that's trying their they best right now and just things are just not going your way. Um I wanna be the person that give you guys some positive energy because somebody gotta do it. Somebody got to do it because some people are just not strong enough to really talk themselves out of the way they feel. And I want to be the one to tell you that it's going to be okay, y'all. Um, if you haven't learned this, like, if you've been here and you have went around the sun a few times and, you know, you're a little older or you are mature, you understand that everything, you're able to overcome anything. It's just um, your mindset, your perception. You have to keep your focus on the go. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. I will not have any trucking content for y'all until this is over. If you guys have any ideas of any trucking content you guys want to see from me, like any ideas until this is solved, let me know in the comments. Y'all know I love when y'all give me ideas. I will try to give you guys what you want. Just make sure you, you know, talk to me and I'll talk back. But I will have my other content and I very much so appreciate all my supporters that watch all of my content. Like I said, I've been saying this from the beginning. This is not just a trucking channel. I have always dished out different content to you guys from the beginning. So it's nothing new to y'all. And it, it for sure isn't going to be new to me. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm, I'm going to do what it do. So we just won't be having no trucking content until this is over with. I'll keep y'all updated. Thank y'all so much for listening to me. Shout out to everybody who watched this video all the way to the end. Salute to you. And like I always say, I will always try to bring you guys the best content. But I will always be my what? I will always be myself. Bye.